Hello everybody and welcome back to another video and this one is going to be a detailed guide on how to make Yandere simulator run smoother and open faster. So this is going to be a really in-depth tutorial so make sure to stick till the end and watch every single detail so you don't miss out on this one. So first of all what you need to do is simply head over to your settings and or your search bar and there you're going to be simply searching for um, system settings and once you type in that you can see we have this option of view advanced system settings so now what we are going to be doing in here is that open your system properties so you can see we have uh, various options like for example computer name hardware advanced system protection and remote so the point that interests us the most is our hardware option uh, I'm sorry the advanced option and what we are going to be doing inside here is that we, you can see we have our performance, visual effects, processor scheduling, memory usage, and virtual memory. So simply head over to your settings, and once you're there, you can see we have this option of uh, visual effects, advanced, and data execution prevention. So you can see we have this uh, let Windows choose what's best for my computer option, and we are going to be um, simply uh, from this uh, let windows choose what's best for my computer option which is currently selected we are going to be um, selecting this adjust for best performance so you can see as long as i click on this all these check marks that are on enable peak fade or slide menu so all of these animation that are not that useful for us and are going to be uh, switching off and you can see let windows choose what's best for my computer when i select this particular option it is going to be turning on all of these animation like for example animate colors and elements inside windows so all of these just improve the aesthetics and overall feel of your um, computer usage so th the user interface looks much more interesting but you can turn this off if you have a machine that is of a low performance and you want the best out of your computer so you can just select it to adjust for the best performance and click on apply and ok and you will eventually see the distance that the colors and animation that are not that much useful for your um, usage will be turned off and it will eventually speed up your um, games and m help them open faster and run different type of software much more smoothly and improve the perf performance overall so simply head over to your game and in here you can see we are currently on uh, just wait for a couple seconds okay so we are on our game and now we need to head over to our settings press e to select or make a selection now we are in the settings here we need to adjust few things simply click on post and processing options and you can see we have this option of reset all uh, to default and you're going to be resetting all to default and then you have this option to set all to lowest so any settings inside any settings actually uh, if you found this option to set all to the lowest you have to choose that particular option now let's just go back using Q head over to detail options press E on your keyboard and once you are here again we have this option to set all to the lowest press F on your keyboard now everything is set it up to the lowest so you can see uh, this particular option that say disable distance and uh, distant animations is set to lowest if you press F on our keyboard so this is a pretty great option to set everything to uh, the possible lowest setting go back again head over to your uh, censorship option and inside here we can set these to yes 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 and press Q to go back and we have this option of 1989's VHS filter options. So this is a filter that is applied to give it a 90s type of look. Press F on your keyboard and they will be automatically turned to the lowest. Simply head back. And finally we have our display options. Head over to these. Uh, this is really important. You need to adjust your resolution to 1980 or something like that. After that we have our windowed mode so you do not need to do that as it looks really weird so make sure you it is set to no. Head back and now we are pretty much good to go so let's just go back and just see how the game is looking. So head over to your new game or load game 
and you can see the first one is loaded click on E to load our game just wait for a couple of seconds until it loads up and you can see it is uh, giving us a tutorial simply press E and E now the game will be eventually okay so it is giving us some story we can simply uh, skip the cutscene and head over to straight to the game okay so let's just skip this as well and press E to continue and press E again so it is going to be just giving us few options to start the game now eventually our game will be loaded up just wait for a couple seconds until it loads up so the all this loading process and everything will be eventually faster uh, since we have just um, used um, all that settings uh, and now let's just try to exit um, head, let's just head over to the school and you may choose an item bring to school okay let's just choose any of these scissor box cutter screwdrivers let's just go with scissors and press F okay so now we will be eventually after this loading screen inside our school and there we will have a better idea how the game is working and whether it is running smoothly or not and the stuff like that so it is loading so here as you can see everything is looking really great and the game is working really smoothly so that's how you can easily fix your game and make it run faster and much more smoother so you can see if you run everything is supported and looking perfectly fine i hope you found this tutorial helpful if you did so make sure to subscribe to the channel like the video and share around with your friends thanks so much for watching and see you in the next video